Hey everybody, Demetri here with Cirque Supply. Today we are in sunny, warm Ohio. Just kidding, it's not sunny or warm, but we're digging into electrical systems. Let's check it out. So we're here in the main office at Valley High Vans, AKA Sequence Engineering. I'll leave some links uh, to those two sites below, but why am I here? Well, this is a training workshop where we're learning hands-on information directly from the professionals who build our systems traditionally. They're equipping us to be able to build them in-house. Let's take a look around the shop. So we're here in the shop. We've got a couple different builders here. Let's show you, not to get too, too deep in it. This is the Cirque Supply uh, 660 amp hour system. We'll have the ability to support 330 amp hour, 660, 990, you name it. Uh, but this system is set up specifically to run our 48 volt air conditioner. So for you Victron guys out there, it's probably a couple extra parts. Now it's not completed yet. Part of what we're doing here at this workshop is going through things like electrical theory, safety, common practice, which tools to use, how to use them properly to show how the professionals put all of this stuff together. Now, I'm not an electrician. I've never been an electrician, but they do a very good job at starting with the core stuff, giving us the drawings, showing how to follow along, proper practice, and labeling as you go, making sure everything is rated properly. Um, and, you know, each of these power systems is going to leave both Valley High or our shop with its schematic attached. Let me show you a few of the other systems sitting around. This system here belongs to GoCode Overland. They are attending this workshop. It's actually going to go inside of the Rover uh, Murphy bed system, very similar to ours. It's made out of aluminum, got these beautiful side panels. Uh, but this system is a little different than ours. Ours is running native 20, or 12 volt, I apologize. It's stepping up to 48 just for the air conditioner. This guy's running on 24 volt getting stepped down to 12 to power a lot of the electronics. So a lot of similar components. And again, not quite finished, not there yet, but it's moving along. And on this side, we've got the same exact backplane because it's also going in a Rover bed Murphy system. This is for Rover vans. And this runs on a native 48 volt, not 12 or 24. So we've got different sizes for different applications different kind of batteries. And let me show you what one of these systems looks like when it's all dialed in. Look at this beauty. This is what it looks like when the pros do the job. Nice and clean. This is a 12 volt system, 330 amp hour. So our system is gonna have two of these. Uh, this only has one at the current moment. And a lot of the same components, but laid out a little bit different. Man, this thing's a beast. Now that I've shown you some of the uh, kind of partially assembled stuff, I want to talk to you guys a little bit more about the training. It's day three. All of our power systems are turned on in our enclosures, and I kind of just want to walk through each of them, starting with this guy here. This is a little unique. Believe it or not, Sequence Engineering and Victron are donating six of these systems to Navajo Nation. I did not know this, but 32% of the Navajo Nation still does not have access to working power. And they're working to change that with these awesome backup systems that are going to have plenty of power and solar capability and be able to run quite a bit of stuff. Now, I don't know the technicalities behind this. I don't know what a lot of these components do, to be honest. They are just much heftier versions of what you'd put in a van and it's turned on they're programming today um, but it'll all be capped up and beautiful when they're wrapped up moving on over here they're going to pass hours real quick let's go look at rover vans this <clears throat> is gorgeous now this is inside their new murphy bed platform it's not quite capped off just yet but this is that 48 volt system that runs on a secondary alternator so there's quite a bit here uh, that we don't have first and foremost these are the new gen batteries the 24 volt new gen from Victron and uh, again he has a secondary alternator so there's some doodads in here that we don't have um, last but not least you'll notice a much larger multi plus oh let me get the focus here for you there you go 5,000 instead of our 3,000 so this thing's powered on and Again, we're programming today. 
the Go Code Overland build. It is strikingly similar. They are running native 24 volt instead of 48. Um, slightly different, but same cabinet. As you know, this is the Rover Vans Murphy bed, partially disassembled at the moment. He's also powered on programming today alongside all of us. Um, there's not a whole lot in here that isn't already in the other Rover Vans layout. One of the more immediate features is smaller 3000 watt or volt amp, I'm sorry, inverter. Um, as opposed to the 5,000. And I'm actually going to flip it around, take you guys to ours, show you what that looks like. All right, here we are, the Cirque Supply Enclosure. Let me pop this open and kind of just show you what's cooking in the kitchen. So we have the 3,000 volt amp, just like the Go Code behind us. We have two DC-DC converters. Part of the reason being that we're running a 48 volt AC. Um, so... We are doubled up in a few spots, and of course, uh, the Serbo GX lives down here, as well as our solar charger and our DC-DC battery charger. Uh, the last thing to note is this blue C right here, which currently only powers the power button on the side of the enclosure, but this is where we're going to run most of our 12 volt out of, and this bar right here is going to run most of our 110. Let's move over to this other side. I just want to show you the batteries real quick. This is where one of the batteries lives. The other battery lives in here, giving us a combined 660 amp hours. And let's take you down the stairs to this lower enclosure. And this is kind of where the brains live. The smart BMS, kill switch, and all of our breakers live in here. It's a beautiful layout. I'm really proud of how it turned out. Uh, this is also in our Murphy bed system. I'm just now realizing everybody here is doing a Murphy, which is kind of ironic. It's kind of the Murphy workshop. Uh, a few things we're going to change and improve on the next one. This is just for our shop van, but we've got to build three more of these systems. So in the, in the final layout, you'll see some things move. Primarily this cooling fan that was originally designed for EcoFlows to pull that hot air out should actually be back here where we're actually going to be getting some hot air generated. But aside from that, Everything came together pretty beautifully. A lot of valuable lessons learned here in the training and a lot of good common practice by professional electrical engineers and proper wiring, fusing, and rating. Overall, really thrilled with how this came out and excited to show you guys how it runs in a van. There it is, folks. We are at the end of this training workshop. We had an incredible time, learned a lot of cool things, and um, got to note a lot of important changes I think we're going to make to the next iteration of this power system. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you're interested in getting some of the same training, uh, click the link below to get to Sequence Engineering. They can hook you guys up, look at some training dates. Um, as far as the power systems and schematics, I want to say there's something exciting coming soon on that um, topic. So uh, keep your eyes peeled for the next video. Uh, probably next video will be back to our Sprinter full build series. So thanks again for watching and happy building.